hello guys welcome back in this um, module which has only one lesson you are going to consider display and visibility these are some of the properties that you need to know when using uh, css styling so by default there are different elements of html which are display either as block elements and others as inline elements for example, let me just remove uh, this guy here. Also for this is okay for now. If, if I do a refresh, is that this element by default, they assume to consume the whole width. So even if I limit behind the scene, HTML has some CSS that specify the div to occupy the whole width. That is why you are not seeing this second box here floating on top here. So actually, let me just use only two boxes. If I change here, or if I choose to use maybe a div here first, and inside this div, let us have something like maybe, um, let us say span, and let us say maybe my name like this. If I put my name with this, span is an inline element, which means it will only cover the length which is uh, or the width which is equal to the the text width so it will not cover the whole width so if i do this i go back here as you can see now we have this box with kevin and by with it and that is because kevin is on one element and my is on another element and yet they still on the same line which means kevin does not take the whole width all right so there are quite a number of inline element which do not cover the entire width and also are quite a number of element which cover the entire width or the block elements so some of the block elements are something like paragraph div you know that cover the whole width and some of the inline elements include things like span believe also h1 believe things like emphasis strong yeah they cover a specific or a percentage of width that contains the text and with that we also have what we call display none so if i use display none let me change this to be 100 here so let us try and see all right and i'm going to remove this first div we don't need this here so if I, for example, if I say that for box one, I want to display none, what that will do is that it will essentially behind the scene, uh, remove box one from uh, being seen on the, on the web page. And it will assume that even the space for box one does not exist. All right. So if I say display and if I say none like this, box two will jump on top as you can see now so that is uh one thing you wanted to note you to note with display none but if i use visibility visibility also hides the element but maintains you know the space for the element that was that has been hidden so if i say visibility hidden like this i go back here i do a refresh you see now box two still is on the same position box one is uh, uh has been hidden and yet its position is maintained to bring back the element i can say visibility visible that will bring back the element yeah and if i say display display like this and i say block that will also bring back the element so if i go back this is just the same thing but if i say that for now for the divs i want to display inline what that will mean i want this div to cover the width which is equal to the width as specified a percentage width and not the whole width so if i say inline it will you know it will play like the float that we have seen so if i go back here now as you can see we have uh, i don't know why it is stacking like that but anyway what i was saying is that if you want to display these divs in an inline you know position then you can use uh, you can use display inline and then they will be stuck as though you are floating them that is the difference between display and visibility and let us meet on the next lesson where we'll consider background style